<laughs> you can endure Jess. <laughs> oh, come on, Jess. Bad, bad. You're that bad. Welcome back, girl. Wild Earl appeared. <laughs> Wild Earl uses sweet scent. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> you don't find the sax is that good of an instrument? Have you ever been able to find a saxophone besides any other instrument except for the flute that can express a human being's soul so sublimely? I mean, seriously. Like, I, I mean, and that's talking within, like, the realms of breath use instruments. Not necessarily a woodwind, but, you know. Uh, I mean, a violin can. But piano, yes. But there's a piano in this. <laughs> I'm listening to the fragrance of coffee, by the way, Earl. Hmm. Seems like something you do. Yeah. You know, uh, from uh, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney at Law. Yeah. The flute cannot express the human soul as nearly as uh, something like the piano or the violin or the saxophone can. They can't reach those deep notes of like a uh, heroism. I mean, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, heroism, heroism within sorrow. <laughs> yeah, they can't achieve the same level. I mean, this is coming from somebody who was in band, who was in. I was a drum major in band, so like I'm very familiar with uh, music. I know how to read pretty much any type of sheet music. <laughs> Whether or not I can play it is another you know, thing altogether. I can at least read it. And I can definitely say without a doubt, 100% within me, that a flute cannot express the same level of uh, human sacrifice and human humility that most of the other instruments can. Harmonica? Yeah, a harmonica probably could. You know what else I feel like really could? An oboe. And oboe has that like deep, deep bluesy flavor to it. Or maybe a scat drum. Fucking bacon. <laughs> Is mayonnaise an instrument? Is mayonnaise an instrument? I, mean, <laughs> I made this yeah, nice mayonnaise jar for you. <laughs> you can live on my mantle. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'm gonna go crazy and do that to you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I made this nice mayonnaise jar for you. I'm just fucking Earl standing outside my window. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can live on my mantle. <laughs> so I've been thinking, we're gonna need like a garage for these mini bikes, but we don't want them getting destroyed. Draw bridges. Draw bridges. <laughs> sure, but I mean, where? And then, like, is it gonna be raised off the ground? Then they'll just attack the walls. And no! You need something with water around it. 
you need to find one of the nearest water facilities close to you and uh, actually build up in the middle of that. That's what the people I watch do. No, no, I know, yeah, a water base is great, but I'm just, there's no nearby water here. Yes, there is! A little freaking pond, so what are we gonna do, make it on a post? One block away from you is a water source. Uh. Yeah, they're really small, though. So you build a 3x3 three three in the middle of the water, raced up, <laughs> and you put drawbridges on either side. There's literally no reason for the zombies to attack your motorbike unless you're on it. So, I mean, I don't understand what the problem would be. <laughs> Not that's the problem. Just trying to figure out how to build you just, it. You just gotta find one that's big enough to put it in. I have so much food. 20 springs. Holy shit. Drawbridges are expensive. Ryan, you would enjoy my base. I know you would. Blowing up the base. I know you that you would enjoy it because you enjoyed our last base where we had all the trees growing on the roof. Yeah, tree the garden. Does everyone know how many blocks long a uh, drawbridge is? Ryan, do you not know by now that I'm the master of the garden? Come fix up my garden. <laughs> so what did you guys do? Uh, I don't know, Justin. I have no idea what the length of the drawbridge is. Uh, hey, uh, y'all got steel fire axes in the box. In the steel? Parkage. Steel fire axes? Yep. Damn. Getting up there, son. Dude, you've been up there. I'm still using iron. I mean, which iron is pretty effective. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I seem to be pretty effective. Seem to be doing pretty well with it. Look at all the mushrooms we have now. All right, everybody, we have a good bit of food. We need meat. Who wants to go hunting? Yeah. I mean, we have food. I don't. I need meat. Anybody want to go deer hunting? We have a stack of 50. A stack of 50? Meat? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, son! <laughs> I was like, we don't eat, man! We don't eat, man! <laughs> we just yeah. die and then come back stronger. <laughs> We're fucking Goku. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Goku on this bitch. <laughs> Well, I need yeah. deer. <laughs> hey, somebody want to grab clay while y'all are out there? I can get you clay. Yeah, we need some clay. Trade you some clay for some meat. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. <laughs> what else? Alright, so I think I have everything for the minute bag. No, wait, I need the engine. Yeah, the engine is the hardest part to get. Everything but the engine. I was like, I was wondering, I was like, we have the bars, the seat, the lock, shopping cart. I have a shopping cart. I mean, they're not hard to find. So we can make at least one bike. <laughs> That's fine. I'm okay. I want a place to put it first, though. Make a raised up area with a drawbridge. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna see. I, would, I just need to know how big that drawbridge is first. I've got you some clay. I'm heading towards the I don't want A drawbridge is expensive, and if I'm not, if it's not gonna fit in the water thing near us, then I'm not gonna do that. 
I'll just make a little concrete raised garage. Obviously. Alright, I'm on my way to you. Alright. Might die of hunger here in a minute. Hold on, there's an undead nurse. Get some grain alcohol, which I need. I'm at Charles base, where are you? I'm in the back. Showing up some walls. Yeah, up in the back. This is this is the same building that me and Ryan were in last time. <laughs> these dude, these work. And then they don't they never fall down like structures. I know. Down. That's why we're in the same building as me and Ryan were in the very, very first time. <laughs> Cause it works. <laughs> I'm at the top of y'all's building, by the way. I'm headed up. The meat's by the fire. I've got two hundred and fifty two play for you. You can drop it straight in the forge. No, alright, I won't just drop it in. It's in. Alright, your meat's right here in this box. Uh, Where's that crossbow blueprint? You can take 25. Yeah, let me see if I can find it. We're in here. Box. Yeah, it's in the second box over here. Uh, crossbow, there it is. Breathe. Alright, I'm good. Later. Peace. It's your lucky day, Justin. Alright, and then we make our way back to our base. Why? Yes! Finally, shit! Let me shut some tools for that. Okay. And then. Hey, Cog. Have you ever heard of the Dot Hack series? Because I'm about to play a song. This is you okay? No, shine bright morning light. I've seen all of them, says Cog. <laughs> I said so. I'm glad that you've seen all of them. I have also seen every dot head. <laughs> This is becoming pretty pretty good. We've got tier two trees going on, or just gotta get the tier 